Incredible hail photos coming out today. Everyone saw hail if you picked up a thunderstorm. These were hailers. And this photo showed it best. There were some spots where it looked like it snowed. That wasn't snow, my friends. That was a pile of hail. This from Rod in Columbus to go along with your two to three inches of rain, you picked up a lot of hail. You clump that up, make it a baseball size, but that stuff is pea size hail. Send us your photos at connect at wkw.com or find us on Facebook, any of our Facebook posts. We will find your picture. We'll get it on air. So looking right now, we had what we call a training thunderstorm. It's when you have an elongated storm system moving over the same area. It's exactly what we had. Now it looks like good news so far. The flash flood warning has been lifted as of three minutes ago. That's good news. Port Washington still a severe thunderstorm on the north side of Milwaukee. Back at home, just some sprinkles. You can see this is a tail. This is actually a boundary drifting south. So we might see a little rain here as this develops. We'll still have to watch this area. It could develop another thunderstorm, but it looks like the bulk of this has moved out. I want to show you the spot that picked up this incredible rain. We don't have a flash flood warning anymore, but you can see point at Lodi four, four and a half, five inches of rain. Columbus looks on the north side of Columbus. You had a little bit more, more four south side of Columbus, more two, so two to four in Columbus. Less as you get down to the forest in Madison, more one inch, more normal amount of rain. Did not want to see that kind of rain. Never do in that short amount of time. So there's our storms. They're more scattered. You have a, we have a warm front right here. Starting to see a couple of isolated cells get going in Omaha, and there's a tornado watch there. These are the thunderstorms that we're going to watch tomorrow in our viewing area, and they come on the triple point. Whenever I say triple point, it's this small area in between the warm front, cold front, and low. That's where tornadoes develop. That's why there's a tornado watch there. So we'll watch that area tomorrow. When does that come in? Doesn't mean we can't see rain before it. And rain before that triple point can save you from severe weather. So there's a lot of activity here. See 11 o'clock, you're not at that triple point yet. This would be great. Give us rain all day long tomorrow because I do think there's an elevated risk on these isolated storms at four to six that could be even tornadic tomorrow. That's something we'll have to watch if they get rolling. No snow, that stays to our north. We'll be in between that. Friday actually like. Friday's the one sneaky good day in the upper 50s and windy. It will be windy Friday, not a great day, you know, calm or anything. So tomorrow, you heard me talk about there's a tornado threat. There is, there's a lot of activity, but you'll see a marginal risk. Just because you're on the low end doesn't mean it can't, I, I do think our threat tomorrow is going to be for those isolated tornadoes, something we got to watch. So what we'll see here is precip chances ramp up overnight into tomorrow morning. There's going to be storms tomorrow. So when would that threat be? I would just say, it's called 2 to 6 p.m. It'd be the early evening. Now you'll notice I've got lots of rain before that, 6 a.m., noon. It's going to be rain, not as much severe weather. You want this to be a washout. At least I do. I don't cheer for tornadoes. If it rains all day long and the temperatures are cooler than forecasted, we'll be okay. So we'll see isolated activity. You see a couple of those storms possible at 4. Really looking at this one at 10. A lot of activity here. It's the storms that happen here. 5, see, they struggle to get going. If they get going, we will be ready for them at that four, five, six o'clock mark. So that's something that we'll watch all day tomorrow. There's a lot. The reason you have a lower threat is because there's too much activity before it. That's not in the handout for tornado. You don't want to see storms all day, but we have a lot of rotation in the atmosphere and we're at 66. 57 on Friday. Friday's a sneaky good day. The weekend is not good, not even sneaky good. 40s and windy. And then as we go into next week, some solid light rain and middle 50s. Those hail photos mm. and videos were crazy. I know, it was dramatic. There. I had people thinking it was snow. Mm -hmm. That looked like snow. I know. They're just <laughs> gathered, he made a, a hail snowman. He could have made right. a hail snowman. Uh, you know that. what? We, we think we're out of winter and then it makes it look like yeah. it anyways. Tell You're going to be busy the next few hours. I know it. Mm -hmm.